All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto, where you can find the latest news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. In today's episode, I wanted to bring you guys a couple of news articles that I found online. We're going to be talking about BAC. Today, BAC futures have been released, more or less. I guess you could say that they're in somewhat of a beta testing phase right now, so we're going to be talking a bit about that as well as the Republic of San Marino signing a Memorandum of Understanding with VeChain. VeChain, again, here in the news, cranking out another partnership yet again. So we're gonna be going over that, as well as Mercedes-Benz parent company is building a crypto hardware wallet for cars. So going into the future, we see autonomous cars. Our cryptocurrency is going to become more prevalent with these self-driving vehicles so if you guys are interested in that don't forget to hit that like button and let's get into it all right everyone i appreciate you tuning in this is pratesh back with kaizen crypto thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button click that like if you guys have found some value from this video it definitely does help the channel grow it helps me out and I really do appreciate you uh, spending the time and taking the time to support the channel but in this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about BACT which has been hugely anticipated within the crypto space and here it is it's finally here ready to go now they are implementing this slowly they're kind of rolling it out in phases where there's a select group of institutional investors who have been chosen to be offered this service um, in the beginning and then as they have I guess gone through more testing and made sure that everything is working correctly how it should be they're gonna be rolling this out to more institutional players so here I've got an article pulled up just wanted to read aloud Back, the long-awaited Bitcoin futures platform from the Intercontinental Exchange has begun testing the delivery of BTC futures. Per the tweet, user acceptance testing for Bitcoin daily and monthly futures began today with participants from around the world. The platform initially announced the launch of futures testing in June when backed COO Adam White stated, on July 22nd, two days after Apollo 11's 50th anniversary, BACT will initiate user acceptance testing for its Bitcoin futures listed and traded at ICE Futures US and cleared at ICE Clear US. White then said that the introduction of Bitcoin futures will help usher in more institutional participation in cryptocurrency markets. Backed Bitcoin futures are physically delivered via a process called warehousing, which will purportedly bode well from a price discovery standpoint but caused some concern among regulators. BACT has experienced several delays regarding its, its launch as regulators like the United States Commodity Futures Trading Commission investigated the platform's compliance procedures and its possible effect on markets. Last week, Sam Doctor, the managing director and quant strategist at Fundstrat Global Advisors, predicted that full futures trading on BACT will launch this quarter. Doctor said, there appears to be a critical mass of adopters ready to come on board on day one of the backed launch. With the sales team gaining traction among brokers, market makers, prop trading desks, and liquidity providers. So with that being said, just to sum it up a little bit for you guys, Backed is going to be launching physically delivered Bitcoin futures contracts. Now, as the article stated, I think this is going to be huge for the price discovery of Bitcoin, being that in order to offer these derivatives or these contracts the the i mean backed is going to have to have custody of physical bitcoin so there is going to be more demand on an already limited supply of such a scarce asset so what that means for the price it is very exciting to see what is going to happen in the near future right now bitcoin is holding at above 10k surprisingly this news had very little effect on the price. In fact, I think today we are actually down a few percentage points. Nothing drastic, you know, I mean, cryptocurrency, hugely volatile market, we're only down maybe a couple percentage points. But it's interesting to see that with this news even, that has not had any significant effect on the price yet. But we will see, I will keep you guys posted. Moving forward, so the next article I have for you guys, the Republic of San Marino signs a memorandum of understanding with blockchain platform VeChain. So VeChain, guys, I know a lot of people in the community, cryptocurrency space, follow VeChain. 
I think that out of all the platforms, they probably have some of the most prominent partnerships that we've seen. Uh, they are based in China. So let's read aloud here what they have to say. So the Republic of San Marino has signed a memorandum of understanding with blockchain application platform VeChain. Per the agreement, the two entities aim to deploy blockchain technology to incentivize sustainable ecological behavior from citizens, local news agency uh, ASCA News reported. The memorandum of understanding was signed between San Marino Secretaries of Industry, uh, Craft Trade, Labor, Cooperation, and Telecommunications, and do 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 do. Okay, so it just gives us a little bit of detail here. The cooperation is part of San Marino's strategy to create and promote an ecosystem of technological innovation and facilitate digital transformation. The parties will work together to encourage citizens to adopt more environmentally friendly behavior that reduces carbonic acid gas emissions, saves water, and reduces waste. The program would reward citizens with so-called San Marino Innovation Tokens issued by San Marino Innovation which will subsequently be used to access services offered within the Republic. The tokens underlying blockchain technology will be based on VeChain Thor blockchain. So he stated, we will give life to a project that will directly engage customers or citizens, excuse me, and reward their sustainable behavior while also meeting the country's demands in regards to CO2 emissions reduction, water saving and waste disposal management. Our ambitious goal is to become the first zero emissions country in the world. Wow, okay, interesting development there. I think that that is a significant use case uh, from VeChain. I think that it's a very ambitious, um, you know, what they're trying to accomplish. It's a very ambitious goal, but we shall see. It's interesting to find that they are partnered with VeChain. So interesting news there. And then finally, guys, the last bit of news I have for you in this video today is Mercedes-Benz parent company is building a crypto hardware wallet for cars. I'm a big car guy, I don't know about you guys, but um, my brother is actually um, working to become certified uh, Mercedes-Benz technician. So it's kind of exciting because this is kind of relevant to what we see now a lot with the electric vehicles. You know, there's, there's Tesla, there's the Nissan Leaf, I know BMW is doing a lot of innovative things with electric vehicles. And to see blockchain technology and the internet of things being brought into stuff like this is really interesting to see. So let's go ahead and get into it here. It's saying uh, Daimler, I think that's how you say it, the German multinational corporation behind the Mercedes-Benz brand partnered with European blockchain interface solution startup Riddle & Code to provide an open car hardware wallet solution. The startup announced in a press release on July 22nd. Let's see here, per the release, car wallets have a wide variety of use cases such as car sharing, autonomous vehicles, real-time exchange of secure traffic data, and with a smart city environments to reduce congestion and lower insurance premiums. So the startup CEO, Tom Furtzner, declared, autonomous cars must behave consistently to be trusted. Cars are already computing devices. A secure identity ensures that the right authorities have approved code executed inside vehicles and the trustworthiness of data exchanged. Riddle and Code secures this with its cryptographic hardware and uses ledgers to turn automobiles into future marketplaces. The wallet in question is reportedly built around the startup's own secure data storage solution, Secure Element 2.0, and allegedly provides a secure blockchain-based identity to vehicles. According to the release's author, merging this kind of identity with a state-issued vehicle identity, uh, such as a registration, would enable unique and secure ledger transactions. Moving forward here, it's saying blockchain in the automotive industry. A press release published in February also revealed that Mercedes-Benz has developed a platform based on blockchain technology to increase transparency and sustainability in complex supply chains. Furthermore, in January 2017, Mercedes-Benz has acquired digital payment startup Paycash Europa, spurring rumors that the giant is in the process of launching a payment service of its own. So very interesting, guys. That is very interesting news from Mercedes-Benz. So it looks like they're also trying to integrate blockchain technology not only into their vehicles, but potentially 
even forming their own form of digital payments. So very interesting news. Um, if you guys are able to, definitely let me know what you think about this. Go ahead and drop your comments down in the section below. That's pretty much all I have for this video. I will be sure to keep you guys updated with future videos. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you can stay tuned for updates and you know when I post a new video. But uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.